Thank you, Matthew. This is so. This is uh, it's a story Dick's pow power. Good idea. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> this is Marktail. Love it. What's up, Dragon Ball? He says, well, well, I didn't know you were a Pixel artist. Looks great. I am. Great idea. Love it. This is Marktail. I did all the pixel art for our game, FX Unit Yuki. I'm, I'm say, so this is for the PC Engine, right? The... Nyanja is for the PC Engine. Miko Hearts is for the Mega Drive. And Yuki Mini Mix is for the Game Boy. But yeah, I did all the pixel art in this. Well, all the character pixel art. The backgrounds were all done by uh, Black Tiger. Most of the backgrounds. He did six of the backgrounds, and then he did the sprites for one stage entirely. But I did all the character sprites and all that stuff for our game. All of the pixels. Hell yeah, more PC Engine games. That's what I'm overlooking. Yeah, Nyanja is going to be for the PC Engine. And it's going to be... The kind of game I always wanted to make. I always wanted to make a one of those one screen arcade. Mark Dell says, uh, uh, 805, uh, Field and Dogi as OD. Says Mark Dell. <laughs> and Grover says Dogi. <laughs> Dogi as Doggy. I read the 80, uh, 80 Field comic strip. Says Mark Dell. You make the games and I will buy them, says Mark Dell. Uh, says uh, Famicom Collecting. Thank you, Famicom Collecting. Let's see. Uh, uh, Field hates Mondays and boats, <laughs> says Mark Dell. Adelfield. <laughs> I love that. Dragon Ball fan. Uh, Dragon Ball says, I envy your uh, gum gumption, sorry. Oh. Gumption, maybe? Gumption, sorry. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I'm. I I feel like I'm not particularly good at any one thing. I feel more like a jack of all trades kind of guy. Next, uh, next Sara will take on Square Enix and dethrone Final Fantasy. Cumption, support up. Let me move his his nose. Right now I'm doing a quick commission for Matthew. When I do these art streams, I also do quick commissions, and that's what's happening right now. Quick come. Quick come. Commissions. <laughs> Quickly come. <laughs> what if Square Enix should hire you as their artist for so Dragon, Dragon Ball? <laughs> if only I was that good. <coughs> oh, only if they go back to Pixel RPG games, says Matt George. That too. Fat Monk Legend says, dude, why is Dragon Ball uh, Quest Builder so addictive? I saw that. I I Dragon that. Quest Builders? Yeah, Dragon, Dragon Quest Builders. <laughs> I love Dragon Quest Builders. I got me into Dragon Quest. That's Mark Dell. Mark Dell says Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Quest Builders. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> hmm. Now East Music. I got it for the Vita. Refrigerator. Oh my god, it was the Vita game? Just marked out. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. Matthew says Nintendo's like, if you want to play Mother 3, just emulate it with the English patch. This is Matthew Rich. Pretty much. 
because they're never going to do it, so. I played it on, on my Game Boy ma micro, uh, micro, so it's marked off. Will that ever drive? For patches? I've drawn Classic Adol so many times that I don't ever have to look up what he looks like. <laughs> Adol Nian. It was locked for Vita TV, but that's where the anti blacklist uh, blacklist comes in. Jesus, Jesus phone. Oh, I got a thing. From who? Oh, okay. It's just late. Oh. <coughs> they have stopped making them. Game Boy Micro Micro film thing. Thing. Sorry, right there. Mm -hmm. That came out after the DS came out. IRC, so weird. Mazaro says, we never know Saru could be drawing Adol at Doji. Doji. <laughs> Mazaro. <laughs> My secrets revealed. What'd you guys do today? Do we eat yet? No, we haven't ate. We haven't ate yet. Mm. We went to bed. What do we eat? You had the banquet. Oh yeah, I had a microwave oh, thing. Bow buns from Costco. Yum. Ooh. We go to Costco. I want to get a, uh, a Costco pizza. They don't have churros anymore there. Churros? They don't, yeah, they replaced them. With what? With cookies. Yeah. Lame. Oh my god, look how cute this is. Mark <laughs> says, we need, we need OnlyFans so we can commission Adon with a huge veiny dong. With oh, a... Wait, you use veiny tacos? <laughs> or... With a big veiny diak. Matthew Roach says, they were very nice for the... The bow buns. Bow. Bow, bow, bow. Oh. Mark Dell says, I hate towels. What about fish tacos? Extra fish. Do you hate all tacos, Mark Dell? Or certain type of tacos? Oh, I eat tacos. Oh, I ate tacos. Jesus, Mark <laughs> Mazaro says, how can anyone hate tacos? <laughs> Everyone's like, <laughs> blasphemy! <laughs> Damn you, Apple autocorrect. What's up, Bondo Gamer? says, drawing daddy. <laughs> drawing daddy? What's up, Bondos? Welcome. Tacos are life. And I'm using a real keyboard too. No excuse. Oh shit. <laughs> <clears throat> no excuse. Maybe you secretly hate tacos. <clears throat> Marto, have you have you tried like real Mexican tacos? Real tacos from Mexico. <laughs> Marta says, "What's happening in the front of uh, Kato? Kato's pants? Does he have a big? Does he have his dong out?" <laughs> yes. 
Pod pieces always. Oh my gosh, it does. Because <laughs> I had, I decided to make them sharper. He's thick. Bart Dog, I have it. Oh, if you come to Vegas, we'll take you to a place called Tacos del Gordo. Oh yeah. It's really like authentic. It really tastes like like Mexican Mexico's ta tacos. Yeah. yeah, Tacos del Gordo is good. Matt Rose says, "I fish tacos. I love." I like like the fried fish tacos. Love those fried fish tacos. Mmm. I love that. Says Mark Dell. His codpiece looks like it's looking for a fish taco. <laughs> says that. <laughs> says uh, Rover. Ooh, I'd love to try that. Says Mark Dell. So I was trying to turn the chat into furries. <laughs> says Matthew. <laughs> you are now all furries. <laughs> Poof. Poof. You're welcome. Poof. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this cute little nickel adol. That's so cute. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm even gonna color it. Because this might be the only commission I get tonight. So. And Matthew is awesome. So we're gonna go the extra. We're gonna go the extra mile. That's cute. I wonder how many other characters you could do drawing with cats. Is cats? Know? I know. What a cute idea. Cute idea. You know, make a star cat. You know, collection. Martel says this would be a. Uh, this is this is a really. Uh, this is really. This is really good. He needs to be a charm. Says Martel. He could be a charm. I don't give us your user night here. Matthew Rose says anyone here can donate for sketches to be made, says Marcel. Yes. Oh my god, everything has cats. Yeah, I know. Everything has cats. Marcel says cat link. Cat link? Yeah. Oh my god, cat link would be that cute. would be so cute. Panda's a cat, yes. Panda's a cat. But pandas are already pandas. Now we need the East music. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. And some deck. So cute. You're fired. Now make me a sandwich. Make me a sandwich. I want a sandwich. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. I think this is all the PSG stuff. There it is, right there. This one? Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh she had Martindale! Cat Link! Cat Link. Not like this. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We're gonna do Cat Link. Cat Link is next. Cat Thank Droid. you. Metroid meets cats. Says Matthew. Catroid? <laughs> But after color, she's marked out. Thank you, Martel. I was thinking of Samus Cat Catus. <laughs> Martel. Catmus? Sounds like Cactus Christmas with cat army out. <laughs> Oh my god, it should, like, <laughs> this will be, like, the next series of charms will be, like, everything is cats. <laughs> I don't know. How cute would that be? It could be a, the Hero Cat Collection. Oh, 
Everything is Hero Cats. Hero Cat Collection. Let's go. Saints will lose her mind. Fucking mind. <laughs> Just mark that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? She won. She won. Sweets is gonna lose her fucking mind. Man. She's gonna lose her fucking she, mind. She's gonna come in and she's gonna be like, oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> Everything in this big head style, though his head might be a little weird. The bigger the head, the better. The art, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mario was just a, and a way of not getting sued by Nintendo ninjas. This is my choice. Mark Dell says Ghostbusters as cats. I do love big heads. <laughs> says Mark Dell. <laughs> big bulbous head. Oh God, um, Slimer as a cat. <laughs> that would be cute. That would be cute. That would be so cute. Like in your art style, it'd be super cute. Have you seen uh, Nendroid Saru? The size of their heads. Yes, I have. I have a number of Nendroids. I have all of the Macross girls as M M Poochie Nendroids. I love them. I love Poochie Nendroids, and I wish Good Smile would make more collections of Poochie Nendroids. Probably a good thing because I like to buy those. Like I bought all of the Macross girls. I have all of the Macross girls as Poochies, Nendroid Poochies. They're so freaking adorable. Oh my God. They're so cute. I have Teddy, Link, and Ouija. I have a Luigi Ouija. one. I'd love a Teddy one. Which one is it? These are, look at, check it out. I have this Iron Man one because I love Iron Man. This is my Iron Man Nendroid. Look how fucking cute he is. Are these good ones? He's so cute! And then I have... I started leaving a lot of them in boxes because I noticed that when I take them out of the box, I start to lose their pieces. Like Luigi, I have pieces that are missing for him. All of my first Nendroids, none of them are complete. And I have like first edition Suzumiya Haruhi, Nendroid. You do hear East music. I'm drawing Adol as a cat. But uh, yeah, I did like uh, I bought Suzumiya Haruhi as an Nendroid. I have a lot of Miku ones. I have uh, this one is still in the slip, but this one is Sakura Miku. Sakura Miku because she's Sakura Miku. I yeah, have bigness. This is something called Miss Monochrome. It's an anime about a, a like a virtual idol, which I think is draws heavy inspirations from Hatsude Miku. But it's so funny. It's about like a virtual idol trying to make it in the real world, and like she has to get a job, and she's like in the world with a Roomba. Her the Roomba is her only friend. <laughs> Cadol says Gordelstein. <laughs> oh yeah. And then I have <clears throat> Sakura Shinguji Nendoroid. This is probably my favorite Nendoroid. Oh shit! What's happening? Garfield oh, as Link. <laughs> oh that's cute. But you still want me to do a, a link a cat link too? Yes. Where'd you get this one? Was it in the box no, too? No, it was over there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put that back over there. <laughs> show this last one. This is mine. <laughs> and then Jesse wants to show his Figma. He has a Gon Figma that I got him. The first trip I went to Japan, I got him this Gon Figma. And now it's worth $200. <laughs> I think it's worth now $400. Is it? Yeah. But It's super rare. Obviously, he's never going to sell it because he collects Hunter Hunter stuff. And Hunter Hunter is awesome. Awesome, awesome. One Garfield, one. One Garfield, one. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. So two links, but one is 
just Link as a cat, and the other one is Garfield dressed as Link. Got it. Okay. Got it. Thank you, Mark. So cute. Alright, I gotta flip them around, because when I flip them around is when I see, like, what the hell I'm doing with stuff. Wait, what the hell? Do I not have this straight? I love fake months, it's not good. Let's see, cattle. Garland of Link. Yes, both won in the style of match. I'll be asleep way before they're done, but it'll be fun to see it in the morning as it's marked out. Yes. What's up, Gordo Stream? How are you, Gordos? Welcome in. I didn't give you a proper proper welcome. Matthew Rose says, call in. Call in sick. <laughs> call in sick and just watch cats all night. Cats all night. They're cats. <clears throat> yeah. I never forget to pussy cat. Well, what the fuck was that? I don't know. That's not really loud. Like an explosion. I do need to take some time off of my girl. Take it off. Take it all off. <laughs> take it off. Shouldn't you have like a million hours of PTO? Use up some PTO. Imagine Yuki as an android. Says Matthew Roach. Oh my god, I would android. die. I would die. Could you imagine if one day I will kill myself live? Give us a look. Do 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 do. Matthew, this was such a good idea. <laughs> also, I feel like <laughs> this is going to spawn like a whole thing. Yeah, right? Everything is cats. Everything is cats. So cute. Man, we could totally turn this into a charm and just do a charm pull as well. Oh, you're right. In case other people want to get it. That's adorable, oh my god. Hmm, I feel like his scarf is not gonna be visible on the other side, so we'll do this. Oh shit! Time for me to sleep, but uh, Linkfield needs to be paired with Princess Odie. Linkfield? <laughs> you got it. That's cute. <laughs> you got it. And good night, Mark. <clears throat> good night, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Sleep good. 
Let's get started to be a millionaire. We can fund to have a acrylic standees. <laughs> Magic road. Yes. <laughs> so Odie dressed as Zelda. I can't wait to see that. Love to all. Good night, Mark Dow. Thank you for stopping by. Yes, thank you, Mark Dow. Have a good night. The VOD will be up. We should also, uh, we'll clip it too and put it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Everything is cats. <laughs> That's funny, Mark Dow's like so like she's gonna lose her fucking mind. <laughs> 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 That's funny. I see the error of my ways. How cute would that be though, right? Just have like a series of charms where they're all just cats. Kitty cat heroes. Kitty cat heroes. Would be adorable. You can do a lot of them. Would be adorable. Where's Sweet Like Sugar? Well, she, she's probably sleeping. Yeah, she's probably sleeping. She's probably slip. Mm. After the stream, I'm gonna send out uh, tracking. Oh, right. tracking, yeah. Yeah, make sure to send that out just so people know mm -hmm. when they gotta be home, you know? Oh, we gotta start. We gotta start talking about voting for next friend club. Oh yeah! Like now, because <clears throat> this is stuff I have to start ahead of time. Otherwise, we fall into situations where we don't ship them for long periods of time. as a cat <laughs> super cute idea super cute idea I love it We 
we should, you should draw a lot of PC Engine, you know, related characters. Characters of cat, and you could make a game called PC Engine Cat Heroes. <laughs> 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 and just give them all ambiguous names. Yep. Like Nyadol. Nyadol, yeah. <laughs> we can have a Nyuko. Wow, that would be awesome to do. Let me save this. Four big guys. They bust on my eyes, my What's up, Gizmo? Like Gizmo, we were just talking about your posterior. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark Dell was. Mark Dell said, Gizmo has cakes. <laughs> Eight old cat. Yeah. And we were like, does he? But he was talking about Grimless Gizmo. Matthew says, yep, it would. I wanted to see how you would draw Adol as a cat. And wow, says Matthew Roach. Thank I you, Matthew. So you may have just spawned something totally cool. Yeah, thank you. As uh, an idea, also. Caked up like bakery. <laughs> says Gizmo. Bakery, sh bakery shop. Says Gizmo. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling, Gizmo? Are you feeling better? Was Gizmo sick? Yeah, he had a he had a fever. He went to uh, he went to Anaheim with his family, but he couldn't go. Oh he got no! A fever. I didn't even know. Hope you feel better, Gizmo. Because I still have a fever, this trip has been total wash for me, but the kids had fun, so it's good smell. Aww. Hmm, now do I give them, do I give any of these guys tails? I didn't give them tails in Yanja for various reasons. Because if I make a charm out of them, the first thing that's going to break is the tail. Yeah. <laughs> God, he's so cute! Yeah, super cute. Yeah, we know how you feel, Gizmo. We went to we went to Mexico, we're sick and Yeah, dude, that do that sucks. When you're fucking on vacation and you're sick, you're like, uh <laughs> So cute! Mow, mama, mow. Mow. Mow, mow, mow. Mm. I try my best to take vitamins and use hard hand sanitizer and cook at home and everything is fine. In early morning, we leave. Boom, I'm sick. Damn. Ugh. That's the worst, too. Yeah. Kind of a habit with you, too, right? Yep. Really that happens with me a lot, yeah. actually. That's I'll be I super do. careful, yeah. and then, like, the day after I arrive somewhere, boom, I'm dying. The night. <laughs> or that it's, same night. It's like, oh, no, I feel sick. Bam. It's like, damn it. Meow, 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 All right. Now, do I opt to maybe color them after the stream so that I can get through all of them and then maybe color them on my own time? What do you guys think? Matthew, what do you think? Do you think we should just color these all on stream or move on to more cats? 
you don't want to be sick in Japan with the weak drugs. I know. I would say yes, color after stream, says Matthew Rich. Alright, well, let's save. Let's save Nia doll. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. <laughs> should we uh, should we make this a charm thing on Saturday? Do a charm pull on it. Yeah, that'd be cute. And then we can have it as we can have it as a charm. How are we crediting the people on the charms who who commission the art? Hmm? Remember how when on the charms, some charms we have like one person's name who commissioned the art. Did you do that? Yeah, for these I charms? Did, yeah. What did we call that? I'm drawing a blank. The charm sponsor. Oh, ah, okay. And then what are we calling the other people? Just uh, charm d donators. But where's the where's you have the package? Can yeah, I, no, I have the package as the. Can I see it? Yeah, I don't have them down like that. You don't want to be, yeah, dude. That sucks. I would say yes. Color after stream. Okay. Well, let me, let me save, let me save him. That's good, cause then I can move it to the iPad, cause I can color much faster on the iPad. So what I did was I made them highlighted. Oh, I see. And then I the rest see. just the. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Is that how we're gonna do it now? I guess. No, I can add. I could add uh, on top, charm, charm sponsor right above it. I forgot we we had one where we did it a certain, certain naming convention. Don't you remember? We did it in a specific way with one. We did. If it was, it was a long time ago. I don't remember. It's fine. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm done with this one. That looks super cute. So cute. Here, I need one more little hair right here. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. I love this. I love this idea. Nintendo should just release Mother 3 physically in the U.S. for Switch and bundle it with my Japanese coach. A guide to learn Japanese and kanji on your Switch. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time. Alright. I need to remember, what does Link's hair look like? What is that trying? Do I have a Link trying? Right <laughs> what are you pointing at? He's hair, right? No, no, no. For Link. I'm already oh, done Link. with him. No, I, I, I've drawn Adol a bajillion times well, by memory. I don't ever need any what, reference material. Which Link does he want? Because they all have different, different hairstyles. Like Super Nintendo Link. Super Nintendo? Here you go. Like, yeah, that'll work. Super Nintendo, ages, whatever. But I have that chibi of Link, too. I don't know. That's an old charm now, so I don't know where it's at. Probably be in the box with all the charms. Gizmo says it was kind of nice getting out of the house and coming out here. Haven't been to SoCal in like seven years, so it's at least nice to be back. What was it? Did you go to Disneyland or? I went to Anaheim. Right, but I mean. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's. I'm not sure where he went. <laughs> 
saw some wheel. Being able to no, no, I can look for it. You can, you can keep drawing. Nintendo Land is open, isn't it, in California? It is. <coughs> in uh, uh, Universal Studios? Universal Studios. Oh, I gotta take these one of these to uh, Arizona for Happy Concert Game. Okay. Put them in a bag. Preferably a package one. And uh, I don't think we have eight alls anymore. I think this is the last eight all. Right? Or do we have more? Not this last one. Give it, give it, give it. For Link, right? Link. <laughs> so many charms. There he is. Perfect. Perfect. To get. So Gizmo wanted to go through the pipes. <laughs> Says Matt Rush. I wanted to get touchy feely with Peach. Says <laughs> Gizmo. <laughs> 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 I almost drum with elf ears. Link as a meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, 
should have drawn him, drew him on a circle there. What the hell is this ruler here? Get out of here, ruler! What the fuck? <coughs> ruler. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's here for. So, Gizmo, if you're still here, what have you been eating? Room service, Uber, Reeds. I remember me and my brother ordered uh, room service at a hotel in Reno. Oh, yeah? And uh, they brought all the food. It was so expensive. My parents got mad. I think back then, I think we got everything for $50. It was like 1995 or something. They charged us to the room and... Like my, my mom was like, look at it, I just got you McDonald's. It was like right across the street. Where was this at? Reno. Oh. Uh, it was next to the Golden Nugget. We got a hotel. Uh, I was, I was like, fourteen. My brother was like eighteen. Was eight. It was the first time being in Nevada. Or it was ninety nine. It was nineteen ninety nine actually. Because he beat uh, Dreamcast. He dream. He beat. Uh, I don't know what year it was, but I remember he beat uh, Veronica. Uh, Code Veronica. Code Veronica? Yeah, it was a big cast. So it must have been 2001. It says, great question, says Gizmo. Well, last night I spent $100, $100 on DoorDash, which was, fan was, which was just fantastic. I never spend that kind of money. No room service here for some reason. Gizmo says, before that I had the family pick up an extra dinner for me from the restaurant down the stairs. Says Gizmo. Nice. Hundred bucks for DoorDash. Yeah, but was that a hundred for the whole family? Because that might not be bad, right? If they DoorDashed. <clears throat> that's true. It's a hundred bucks for one person. That's different. <laughs> it's a hundred bucks for all the little chillins. All the little chillins. Says it was Chipotle, four bowls and a and a tip for the server driver. Says Gizmo. <coughs> okay, that's, that's not bad. Not bad. Everything's getting expensive you now. Car insurance is like damn. I don't understand. I hate that car insurance is going up because it's unfair to people like me who have never been in an accident. You know. Never gotten any tickets. But it goes up for everyone. It's like, fuck you. If it goes up again, I'm going to see about finding a cheaper rate elsewhere. What's the place you want to try? Not Chipotle. Um, Qdoba? Qdoba. Qdoba. I used to eat a lot of Qdoba in LA because um, I worked right on 6th Street in downtown and there was a Qdoba right next to the building I worked at. Was it good? Yeah, I liked it. I'd rather have Qdoba over Chipotle. I've never had it, so...
Rover says this version of uh, term uh, termination is the best, and I will fight anyone who disagrees. Disagrees, says, says uh, Rover. It's so good. Hello, retro guy. What up? How you doing, retro guy? We're just doodling today. Doodling. I was doing pixel art, but then I got some commissions, so I'm working on commissions right now. Live commissions. I just finished one for Matthew, and now I'm doing one for Mark Dell. He wanted Link as a kitty cat. Gizmo says, when I was younger, I used to, I used to like going to the late night taco shops in LA. I remember I found one so late, like around 2 a.m., and they had, they had a line still. Gizmo. Yep, that's how it is. And they probably have will have that line till some stupid hour in the morning because taco places are where you go after you go drinking. It's like the best thing to go eat, you know, after you get out of the bar. <clears throat> you leave the bar, you're ready for some tacos. Yeah, because what? In LA or taco, 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 taco. What? last call is 2 a.m.? Yeah, but well, technically 1 a.m., but yeah, 2 a.m. I think 1 a.m. they stop. Yeah. Because in Cal in, in North Cal, they last call is 1.30. If you want to get your drink, it's 1.30. And then 2 o'clock, they, they stop. Here we don't have last call, but there's certain stores that that were that were 24 hours they stopped selling alcohol, which but is dumb. But remember Smiths, they just they would close down the alcohol. Yeah, at midnight. Like, at midnight, like you can't. And now the whole store closes at midnight because it used yeah. to be 24 hours. So I guess it's a moot point anyway. Yeah. Since after the pandemic, a bunch of stuff started closing. Which is fucking lame. Super lame. <clears throat> the only stores that are open 24 hours here are is Winko. And they sell, they sell alcohol and beer there too. Oh, they do. And and you can get it at any time. Yeah, any time, yeah. Which, you know, should be the fucking case as we live in Las Vegas. Winko's great for that. Yeah, Winko's, Winko's a cool store. Oh, oh the King of Hades. Hades, welcome. King of Hades raiding with a party of ten. Welcome to the King of Hades. What's up, King of Hades? Welcome What's in. Up, How King you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Happy to hear. <laughs> Welcome in, King of Hades. How you doing? How you doing? We're just doodling some stuff right now. I'm working on some commissions. I we're doing pixel heroes as cats. <laughs> What's up, King of Hades? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Nub dragons is color a dinosaur? Sure. <laughs> just donate five thousand five thousand biddies <laughs> and we'll we'll draw you that dinosaur. <laughs> The dinosaur gonna have a big D. Doing pretty good. Still playing Chrono Trigger. Nice. How are you liking Chrono Trigger? Thank you. Thank you for the. Thank you for the twenty-four biddies. Thank you for the biddies. And thank you, Matthew Roach, for shouting out King of Hades. And thank you for the one biddies, <laughs> King of Hades. All the biddies. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm liking it. It's a lot, a lot of fun. It's nice. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Take me with the ten biddies. Take my biddies and put them on your titties. <laughs> <laughs> biddies for my titties. Biddies for titties. Yes. All right, King of Hades. What's a what's what's a video game soundtrack that you like? <clears throat> what's a game soundtrack that King of Hades wants to listen to while while he chills with us and we we listen to some tunes and draw some kitty cats? Hey, Wheat, then take your time off. King of Hades, Black mass off. It's a gizmo. Bloody tears. Bloody tears. All right, so pick a cast, pick a ca Castlevania. Which, which Castlevania? Because Bloody Tears is in a lot of them. How about Rondo? Rondo has has a version of Bloody Tears. We'll listen to Rondo. Rondo soundtrack for the Castlevania man, the King of Hades. Track number eight. Let me turn it louder. <laughs> but yes, welcome into King of Hades and his raid. <clears throat> Normally I'm playing retro games, but uh, today we're drawing. I'm drawing before money. You can make them dance. <laughs> what? 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 That's all of our coins. so cute. Right? Let's save him. Save painting as. To the King of Hades, have you ever have you ever heard uh, Naoto Shibita's version of this track? You could do uh, Richter as a cat, <laughs> and uh, his weapon would be he'd be he'll have like a. I was just playing on two, two, oh, oops, I didn't realize. Thank you for the biddies, uh, King of Hades, you already 100 biddies, thank you. Oh, thank you for the 100 biddies. Instead of his whip, it'd be, uh, yarn. <laughs> that would be cute. That would be super cute. Castlevanias. Mm-mm. 
It scares you, you said? I don't know what I'm driving. <laughs> you change it. Well, I, church. <laughs> I think that's the idea. <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> church scares me. <laughs> it's a scary place. <laughs> You're like, church. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I always felt uncomfortable going to church. I don't know why. Like your skin starts burning a little? <laughs> what? <laughs> why, am I so, why am I hot? Quick, throw holy water on someone to see if he needs Super cute. And he says, if you're watching, if watching him looks like Vegeta with you banging it. Or if your washing machine looks like Vegeta with you banging it. <laughs> Probably. There's a good probability. The first, like, Yahweh comics I ever saw, actually, in fact, were Dragon Ball ones. I was like, what is this? This is before I even knew that, like, Yahweh was a thing. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies! Thank you for the 25 biddies! Uh, King of Hades, Gizmo says, when you complete the commission, do you email it to the buyer? I, uh, I'll put, I put, I'll post it in the, in the Discord, so I'll, D, I'll DM it to them. These are all Discord people who... Who commissioned it but normally yeah if i do a commission i'll send them an email if they're not part of our discord like um i get instagram commissions and those are those are all via email and uh, i'll let them know in a dm hey i'm done with your thing and i'll send it to you via email just depends on where where the commission comes from if the commission comes from instagram then yes i email it to them Just depends. So cute. <clears throat> Roger guys says great drawing of Q. <clears throat> Thank you. And thanks for being here. Oh, would you call this Meow Week? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He says, okay, I'm going to contact you for one for my son's birthday in a few months. Says Gizmo. Nice. I appreciate all the commission work that I can get. The campaign, he says, I was wondering, do you also do coloring on stream? Yeah.
Gizmo says, I would like you to turn him into uh, into a chibi. Oh, perfect. Oh, you, him and I into chibis, says Gizmo. Perfect. Yeah, I could totally do that. Normally, like, chibis, um, usually from start to finish in color, uh, I charge $60 per chibi. So, which is... And then regular commissions, non-chibi commissions, usually uh, full color. If it's just a character, it's $80. If it's many characters, it's a lot more. <laughs> just depends. It just depends on what it is. But base prices. And then, uh, like, okay, sketches, right. ink, non-color stuff, usually like 40 bucks. Just depends on what I'm drawing. In the last few months, I had a couple big commissions that really saved my ass. <laughs> um, and then I had people who commissioned me for multiple things, like Ma Famicom Collecting had a friend who commissioned me for a bunch of stuff. Okay, that's fair. Did you get, uh, did, did it give you money to eat more ass? <laughs> something I mean? All the ass. Eat ass. <laughs> All the ass we can eat. I don't need to pay to eat it. Retro Guys says, wow, those are amazing prices. I've seen others charge ridiculous prices. Yeah, they're like hundreds. In the hundreds. I can show you on my iPad, actually, some of my my latest commissions that I did. To avoid pink, getting pink eye wear safety glasses. <laughs> Good idea. Wear one of those, like, <laughs> swimming goggles. I just make them wash their booty. <laughs> They just gotta wash their booty. And have like a wet mat wet nap and just wipe. <laughs> <laughs> wet naps. <laughs> wet naps. <laughs> Saving people from pink <clears throat> since nineteen forty. Here's a commission I did for Modern Broadcast. Modern Broadcast, he's a like a VTuber. But he's also a YouTuber who like wears like this big T V. He wears like a CRT on his head. Um, this was my latest commission that I did for him. Which is his mascot character playing a game. There it goes. Sometimes it'll focus, sometimes it won't. He's playing a Game Boy. There you go. But if you look up Modern, Modern Broadcast on YouTube, you can see his avatar. That's basically him. He wanted him sitting down playing an old school Game Boy. So I drew him with the GMG. GMG Game Boy. Um, let's see, what else? Did I do... Here's a commission that Matthew commissioned me to do. He's in the chat right now. This is a chibi of Jill as a sandwich. Hence the Jill sandwich. We made this into charms too. We have a charm of it. This got made into an acrylic charm. And uh, Matthew was the person who commissioned it. That's why his name is highlighted. Cool cartoon, says Gizmo. That's pretty sweet, says King of Hades. The price of asses that rocket. Nuff Dragon says, Have you done a chibi mini me holding an, out an apple? Says Nuff Dragon. <laughs> uh, I'll eat that sandwich. This is your piece. Mark Dell likes a game called Ghost Chaser. This was a commission that I did for that. This one was kind of hard to come up with something because. Um, of the fact that I'm not one not too familiar with the source material and the source material doesn't really have like any decent artwork so I just based it off of off of the video game <clears throat> and these were all these are hundred dollar commissions that was a hundred bucks um, what else did I do what other commissions and I draw obviously a bunch of shit for myself Tons of shit for me. Tons of yak. A lot of commissions here for Matthew and for Mark Dell. Hey, I figured I could uh, I could get this here so you see it now. 
I expanded the pattern spaces for platforms from 32 to 64. I gave them an additional palette, so the 12 original colors plus one additional dedicated palette. So there's more flexibility now to level design because it's Robert. Oh, nice. So what are we looking at? Um, so from 32 to 64. So there's the 12 original colors plus one additional dedicated palette. So how many colors is that all together? How many colors are we looking at? I gotta look at what the what I what I had allotted myself for the old color space in chat. Speaking of Rover, this was done for Rover of uh, one of his main characters. Rover is redoing one of his RPGs. Closer. And uh, so this was one of his one of his characters for the game. I'm still missing one more character key art that I have to do for this. 27 colors plus the common color. Okay. All oh, right. Lord, she's thick. <laughs> Can you make sure to put that in the um, in our Discord chat just so just so I know if you can copy what you just wrote to me, both of those things. Cuz I will not remember. You know, you know me. I will sure. I will totally not remember. So if you can please just copy those two pieces of info for me. That would be Ah, speaking of Castlevania. Here we go. Here's some Castlevania arts. He's so pale, though. He's not coming through. There he is. There it is. There it is. A chibi of Super Mario. That was for my for my print club. I did stickers. I have a print club, by the way. So, like, on Patreon, basically, people donate $5 a month on Patreon, and they get physical prints. Uh, every quarter I send them three prints. So that's one print a month plus a sticker plus a letter Is basically what it comes comes down to is you get one print a month You get a sticker you get a letter And uh, I guess I can show that if you want to see the process really quick I have a print clip here I have a print clip here. Oh, I have yeah. the newest print clip yeah, here. Yes, I, I left it there. Cool. Check this out. So here's the newest print club. Right now we have 80 people on Patreon, which is awesome. Thank you everyone who supports us on Patreon. But this is this quarter's print club. It's uh, Poffle Mail Art. That's the key art. And then the other two arts are usually Star Pro related stuff. So FX Unit Yuki art. I'm basically going down the... Uh, Initial FX unit Yuki screens um, And then we did a, a vinyl sticker vinyl sticker of a uh, mail But yeah, we do a print club every every quarter For five dollars a month on patreon you also get access to other stuff our discord is is a private discord So you get access to that and Then here's we did a magnet Puffle mail. Here's the mail sticker. We did a chibi. Chibi of mail. Very cute. This is one of the other things you get. So every quarter you get one of these stickers. You get a letter. And you get three prints. No, the magnets is $10. Oh, yeah. We're okay. talking about the... Oh, I'm so sorry. So, yeah. For five bucks a month on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Sarumaru. Join it. Support me. All right. Let me go back. Oh wait, not yet. Not yet. Let me show you guys really quick. Here's here's the process basically. A lot of guides for lines. I love this about Procreate is that it takes down every stroke from start to finish. So you could even show, you can show people what the process is, right? You can show them the process. You can show them, hey, I'm, I'm actually drawing it. This is not AI. This is not <laughs> tracing. This is not whatever. Referencing, that's, that's one thing I will do. It's like, you know, I'll look at a picture on the internet to get an idea. Because I don't know how to draw so many things by memory, like characters. 
Unless it's like a character I love, like Adol I draw by memory all the time. Um, anything that has to do like, like Ranma, Mario. Those are the things I don't need references. Mega Man. Cool feature to have, says Gizmo. Yeah, I like making these videos and I put them up. Because nowadays it's like, you don't know if anyone's drawing fucking anything. Or if anyone asks you, do you, know how, do you know how to really draw? Yeah, I'll show you, you know. Especially with, you know, the advent of AI. I feel like a lot of people use, you know, AI or like, you don't get to see them draw stuff. Their artwork is just magically up. And they sell it for like... Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of dollars. dollars. Hundreds of dollars. For me, that would end at three strokes. <laughs> this gets me yeah, this is this is ours. This is a time lapse. Rover says Procreate remembers every stroke, so it can explain in detail how babies are made. <laughs> 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 so right now it's showing you the time lapse. Right now that's at two hours. Two hours in. At first I drew like a cool like skull in the moon, but then I realized you can't even fucking see it, so I was like, man, fuck this. <laughs> but first I had made it into like a cool like skull. But then decided against it. Two two hours and twenty minutes. But I love this about Procreate. That you can see the you can see it happening as you draw it. <coughs> I feel like now that AI is a thing, this is an extra peace of mind, right? That you're commissioning an artist for actual art and not fucking uh, something they put together in an AI prompt. Can't wait for prices to get back to pre-COVID. I wish, says my dragon. I do AI images, but only for monsters, prototypes, and uh, re redhead porn. <laughs> <laughs> Red hair AI porn. This you hardly see any change. These are all the little details that I'm adding right now. Little highlights here and there. I always spend a lot of time doing these stupid, like, little tiny highlight details. Dude, if you've been next year at Game On, you should make bookmarks too I like this one we were thinking of doing bookmarks remember a couple years ago oh yeah we should still do bookmarks yeah. three hours what's it at three hours and three hours and 37 minutes is what it took ah uh, yeah he's like kiss my dead lips then the buttons have like some sort of like design in them as well just little details but yeah I do commissions commission me commission me daddy commission me commission me daddy commission daddy all right why does my pen not work there we go I was saying I was saying how much for you <laughs> and I said, just give me a little Caesar that I'm good. <laughs> yeah, Jesse's pimping me out for little Caesars. <laughs> and for two pizzas, I'll bring water. <laughs> I'll bring you water after. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> Bookmarks would be good because you could just do six or seven on a page, just saying. Just, just drag me. I'd probably have them made somewhere, actually. You know, um, there are very few things we do here. I've seen people who do Kickstarters who do that. You're like, oh, if you reach this one, you get a, you get a, a bookmark. Uh huh. That's what we're gonna start doing. Yeah. Especially now that we manufacture so much of the stuff, charms and things, so. We're doing stuff. Sticker sheets, blah, Sticker blah, blah. Sticker sheets, yeah. I think we made the mistake our first Kickstarter. We didn't know, you know, 
Well, I wasn't really making like too many physical products back then either. No. You know, I was making prints and posters and that's it. And t-shirts that were not good. <laughs> so, yeah. Now it's different. That's why the last, uh, the pre-orders we did, we did sticker sheets and charms. Yeah. So it'll be the same with the Kickstarter. Whatever Kickstarter we do. For the new game. New game. These are so cute. These are so cute. Matthew, did you get the idea for to commission this because we were doing Nyanja stuff? I'm pretty much drawing them in a very similar style to to Nyanja art. Here's all of Nyanmaru's sprites right here. What are the commission rules? No illegal images, I would assume, but anything else? What are you reading? I'm sorry. It says Rover. Commission rules, no illegal images, I would assume, but anything else. I mean, like, um, just no crazy stuff like gore or stuff like that. <coughs> NSFW is fine. Actually, I got my start as an artist, as an NSFW artist. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I got in the very beginning. I used to do a lot of uh, NSFW stuff. This was like around the 2000s and stuff. But uh, yeah, NSFW stuff is fine as long as it's nothing crazy. As you whisper on to do it. To it. <laughs> oh, Matthew Roach says, I did, yes. That's awesome. That's awesome, Matthew. It's all It, it all came full circle. Full circle with cats. But uh, yeah, I used to do, man, back then it was the time to do it. Cause like digital art, everyone does digital art now, but like in the early 2000s, like 2000, I would say like 2006 to 2012 was like the best time. Cause there were not too many digital artists. So um, it was, it was easy to charge a lot because it wasn't common now that the competition is like really high so like you basically have to charge less half half of what i guess it depends on your popularity too i think it depends on a lot of a lot of different factors were you using an ipad during that time says gizmo no i i had a uh hp tc 4200 which i still have it's a monster of a computer, and uh, I used to use that. And before that, I used to do all of my work in MS Paint and a mouse, if you would believe it. If you go to my DeviantArt, you can see like a bunch of stuff I drew with a mouse, uh, as well as the origins for this character. This is a character I, I created back in 2005. And I'm just now using him in our new our newest game. But originally this character, I had made him back in, uh, in 2000, 2005, 2006, around that time. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It was in one of those shells. It's a gigantic computer. You, you wouldn't be able to miss it. But don't. Oh, okay. Do you want to see the first computer I used to draw on Gizmo? This is the first thing I, I I did my digital art on. On this computer right here. It's a HP TC4200. It still works too, which is crazy. It still works. It's kind of busted. Like the hinge here is messed up, but surprisingly this thing still, still works. So I used to do my art on this. Yeah, I had a friend who stepped on it and he broke he broke the hinge. And this guy was like, he was a big guy. Too. Yeah, he had stepped on it. So this turns around like this. And then I used to draw on this. This was my drawing computer. And uh Oh she used to have the pen. Yeah, I tied it to it because it broke. So I tied the stylus. To the computer so as to not lose it i wonder if this works here no it doesn't 
But yeah, this is what I used to draw on circa 2000, 2006, 2007. Oh, okay. I, I see now. I didn't know that tech existed at that time. Yep. <clears throat> I remember buying this on eBay. Uh, I bought it used, too, for, I don't remember, like $500 or something. And I used this for years. I used this computer from 2006 to 2012. 12, 12 13, 13, 14. 2000, uh... 13 the beginning of 2013 yeah and then i got a surface pro 2 and i started using the surface pro 2 but this i use this from yeah, i want to say 2007 to 2013 07 to, to 13 i don't know how many years that is but yeah and it still works and then i switched to a microsoft surface pro 2 and then i switched to a microsoft uh, Surface Pro 4, which is what I'm using now. But I draw most of my stuff now in the in the iPad. This this computer I'm using right now for this live. This is my pixeling computer. I use this. I use this to do my my pixel stuff. iPad. Yeah, I use it to now. I draw everything on on this tiny super light iPad Pro M1. And this thing is amazing to draw on. The Apple Pencil is fantastic. Highly recommend anyone who's like doing digital art, just get an iPad. Get an iPad and just do shit on that. Thank you, King of Hades, for the biddies. Let me switch back now. Thank you for the biddies. Six years. My oh. gosh, oh six, oh nine years were my Blackberry years, yeah. Man, I got it. I've been forgetting to like drink liquid. I got it. I got it. Liquid. All right. Abraham's Abraham's chick. Thank you for the follow. Gracias por las seguidas. Si hablas en español. I think it's Abraham. Thank you for the follow. Gracias por el follow. Just in case you speak Spanish, we are by. We are bilingual here, so an iPad. English, Spanish, uh, Rover Slack. and very little Japanese. I have an iPad, but it's mostly used for as a paperweight. It says Rover. Because it says, what size iPad do you recommend for art? Says Gizmo. I bought the small one. There's two of them. I bought the, the small one. So, I mean, if you have the money to buy the big one, maybe get the big one. But I bought the smaller, the smaller Pro because I think this came in two sizes. And I bought the small, the smaller one. There's a bigger one. Yeah, there's one that's that's bigger, slightly bigger. Oh shit, that was the bigger one. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a bigger one. This one. So I bought the little one, just to travel and stuff makes it easier. But uh, in retrospect, it may have been better if I bought the larger one. I'm guessing. Sushi taco. Have you ever had a sushi burrito? Man, those sh those shits are good. Yeah. We have sushi burrito places here, and they're delicious. Here, let's move oh, this over there because I don't want to mess up the box. <laughs> yeah, we have sushi sushi burrito. Hey, I had it so good. It's good. It's good. All right, I think this link is done. Now I gotta draw Garfield's <laughs> as Link. Oh no! What did I do? Let me save. <laughs> I know, just in case. Let me save, because a lot is happening right now. What's up, Street Breaker? Welcome, Street Breaker. How you doing? Yo, what's up? All right, so Cat Link is done. Now we got to do Cat Adol. Cat Adol. Yeah, bulgogi tacos. Mm -mm. We have a Mexican-Korean fusion place called Comex. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please don't double dong. It's just rude. 
<laughs> Buy me a drink first. And then double dong use all you want, bird. daddy. You can use them on wounds or, <laughs> or, or smoke, smoke them. them. Or double dong. What's a double what's a double dong? <laughs> what's a double dong? King of Hades, can you explain what a double donging is? <laughs> the King of Hades, he, he, he's got your back. He will explain. He will explain. And if you ask nicely, he may even demonstrate. Oh no. Oh, okay. It's just flipping out. They see a mighty thing sometimes flip it out on this computer. You have to treat it with care, or it'll just shit the bed. The King of Hades will show you what a double dong is. You just have to assume the position. This track makes me want to play Rob again. And now we went back to yeast. Back to yeast. We play. We have to play Castlevania music for the King of Hades. He's a Castlevania guy. Ah, oh, enough dragon. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I was just <laughs> I was just thinking of that. I don't know why it was just going off in my head. <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> that was literally just going off in my head right now. Cuz you want four big guys. <laughs> I'm always thinking about four big guys. Four big guys. Five guys in your mouth. It's been a long time since I've had five yeah, guys. Five guys in your mouth. <laughs> Nev Dragon says, "Hey, I thought I was following. Did that happen yesterday? The other day too? With yeah, someone? it happened with someone else too. Uh, retro, Retro Gamer, nineteen seventy five. Also, thought he was following. Yeah, Nev Dragon the same thing. Do you have access to the soundtrack or portrait of Ruin, Prince Prover? I think so." Just type that in. Go to okay. Right there. And then just type in Castle in here. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> is it from the DS? Yeah, it is. That's it. Portrait. Double dong. <laughs> no dragon says yes. He's waiting for the double dong demonstration. He asked what a double dong was. I, I told him that the King of Hades would fill him in. Fill him in on what a double dong is. Fill him in. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just dirty <laughs> being dirty. <laughs> fill him in. <laughs> Oh, this must be like the opening or something. <laughs> Won't you fight for your life? A double dong would definitely fill you in. <laughs> thank you for the biddies, King of Hades. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the biddies. The bitties. He's like uh, Garfield, Garfield and, and Odie. Odie. Okay. 
Which is gonna be weird. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. Thank you for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. Enough dragon and can you make this just a little bigger there so I yeah. can see. No, okay. up. You have you have to just up. That oh, one. This river? Yeah. There you go. Oh, no. And Abraham Abraham's That's good. What? I appreciate it. That's a double donging. That's a double donging. Alright, I think I'm done with Link Meow. Meow Link. Alright, really quick, let me just touch up on Adol a bit. Oh, the 3F anime hentai. The third floor anime. Anime hentai. That's the subject. What is your favorite anime hentai? Favorite hentai. Let's go. I mean, this is a family stream. What? We don't watch such things here. <laughs> Avocados from Mexico. Here's what he says. I don't think I'd ever double dong in real life. It sounds just painful for everyone involved <laughs> in their strategy. Painful or amazing? Amazingly painful. Could be the best time of your life. Don't knock it till you try it. That always. Have you seen Requiem for a Dream? <laughs> have you seen that movie? No. Okay. Because there's a scene in that <laughs> that's like, oh my. <laughs> There's a scene that is quite reminiscent of double donging. My ex double dongs now, so it can't it can't be all bad. Says Rover. <laughs> it's just a back and forth. It's like whoop whoop, whoop whoop. I wonder if it makes that noise too. It's like. And if you don't know, if you haven't figured out what the context is, it's probably for the best. Yeah, but what if a nut, a nut gets stuck? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you have to take risks. It's like tug of war, only different. <laughs> <It's just rubber. laughs> It is like tug of war. It's like tug of war, only better. Only with more suction. <laughs> Give us an does she win? They both win. Well, if 
if she if she can walk afterwards. <laughs> Says Earth Rising. <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me of the movie Bad Santa. Has anyone ever seen Bad Santa? Oh yeah. What does he say to her? And they're like doing it in like a booth <laughs> in the mall or something. He's like, yeah, baby, you're gonna be able to shit right for a week or something <laughs> like that. One of my favorite Christmas movies. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a bad Santa too. Is there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, like, same people? Yeah, same people, I think. Oh. Never saw it. It came out 2016. Never knew. Alright, I think. See how he compares to our link. I think he needs his scarf flowing back here. Doesn't make sense. Maybe put it on this side. Alright. Well, then he go goes to the club and talks to one of the ladies for a favor. And she's like, No, Billy, I wasn't able to shit right for a week oh, yeah. last time. <laughs> 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 That's right. <laughs> so funny. I'm happy with Cat Eight all now. Dirty, filthy humans. Let me flip them just in case, because I feel like sometimes I gotta flip them to see, make sure he's symmetrical. Which way does he look better, left or right? So that'll determine which which side I print him on. What do you think, Matthew? Left or right side? Kaza0504, welcome in. What's up, heyo? Welcome, welcome. I'll leave it up to Matthew since this is Matthew's commission. Let's see, flip him. So cute. He should find out about bonobo monkeys. They're worse than we are. Left, says Matthew Roach. Looking left, like this one, like this. That's how we started. Oh, his eyes are like, the shiny in his eyes are not symmetrical. Hold on. 
But is it like Sailor Moon? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sailor Moon Crystal. Yes, looking left says Matt George. <laughs> you just draw one like that. Sailor Moon Crystal treatment. Man, yeah, first season of Sailor Moon Crystal had some, like, crazy-looking frames, man. Like, some stuff looked really good, and then some stuff you were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who approved this? There we go. Cute! Alright, he's done. Now I gotta do Mark Dell's weird stuff. <laughs> He always commissions me for weird stuff. He's like, all right. <laughs> it's hilarious. Hilarious. All right. I think uh, Adol is good now, too. Looking super cute. Let's save him. Save painting as. Cat Adol. Cat Adol. Alright. Now we need Garfield and Odie. Garfield and Odie is Link. Hmm, <laughs> that's cool. How are we going to do this? Oops. Alright, so Garfield's got oh. like a Hershey's kid <laughs> kiss head. That's right. Oh, thank you for the, thank you for the bad bitties. Uh, thank you for the bitties. He says, I was thinking of commissioning you for an art piece I would put on one of my guitar pi uh, pick cards, says uh, Nick Strategy. Nice. Yeah. I'm open for com I'm, I'm almost op always open for commissions. Um, unless something is happening, we're doing something. I close commissions for a little while so that we can get our print club stuff out. But all of our print club stuff is out already. Everyone is starting to get their print club shit. I'll send out some, uh, I'll send out, um, tracking tonight. Yeah, tracking numbers will go out tonight, by the way. For those of you who have boxes coming from us, you'll get your tracking numbers today. Says, it would just be an image I would print on a decal layer with a sealer over it and over it till it's hard as a rock. Says, uh, says my strategy. Nice. Gizmo says, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to think about how to do it. I feel like maybe I, he should be, should he be barefoot? Yeah, he should be barefoot. Mm-hmm. 
It's funny, I've already drawn in so many Garfields because of Mark Dell. <laughs> I did it once for a, for a squire I modded, and it had a chocobo in the field on it with a small buster sword against a rock. I'll show you a game on. I got a picture of him. Nice! Cool! I feel like his head is ginormous. And then he's gotta have like more belly pudge. Yep. More pudge. The art's looking good, Sarkin says Street Breaker. Thank you, I appreciate it. I can't wait to see the movie as well as the Street Breaker. I know, I can't wait to see it either. The new one? Yeah. Looks so cute. I want to see it too, except for the whole Chris Pratt thing. We should watch it in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, we could. Yeah, let's watch it in Spanish. We should have watched the Mario movie in Spanish, actually. We can his, his Spanish, the Spanish dub was really good in it. It's on, it's on Netflix now. Oh, you're right. We should watch it in Spanish. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of Chris Pratt doing voice acting. I don't think he's very good at it. I don't know why they keep casting him for voice acting though. There's so many other like super talented voice actors that they could have got to do his voice. Dude, Bill Murray was amazing voice for Garfield. Mario movie was good. I like that. Yeah, the Mar the Mario movie was really good. Yeah. This is a great movie. Other than Chris Pratt, it was good. <laughs> What's up, Cassius? What's up, Cassie Muse? Welcome.
Off to yummy gummy land. Yummy Cummy Land? Howdy y'all. This is Gas. Welcome to Yummy Cummy Land. To yummy Kirby land. Actually, I should probably move his tail from there. I don't like the way. Yeah. I was trying to keep it that way in case, like, later on he was like, oh, let me commission you to make this into a charm. It makes it more solid, but in terms of, like, the design, I don't like it. Well, if you ever put, if you ever designed, you can always put them in, like, in a circle, too. Oh, you're right. Tail. Alright, that's better. Thanks for all the commissions tonight, you guys. Seriously. So that helps us immensely. Perfect. Alright, now I gotta do Odie as Prince of Zelda. That's gonna be difficult for me, I think. Yep. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Garfield's got this face, like, why? I feel like normal would have been better as Zelda. Yeah. You're not the customer. You shut up. <laughs> Nobody not. cares what you feel shut like. <laughs> <laughs> when you cough up a hundred dollars, then you, can, then you can be opinionated. Tell me about your feelings. That's cool. That Zelda. That. Link, Garfield Link. That's about as good as we're going to get for our Link Garfield. For those of you who don't know or came here afterwards, we have a member by the name of Mark Dell. He, he loves Garfield, so he's the one who commissioned me to do sketches of uh, Garfield and Odie. case anyone's like what the fuck why is he drawing why is he drawing Garfield <laughs> because money I actually haven't gotten to any of the pixel stuff yet. I still have to do that tonight. Man, I got so hungry all of a sudden. Oh, me too. Hey, What's up, Shell? Shell! <laughs> How much would it cost for a commission, by the way, Sister Strategy? It just depends on what it is you want. So, like, these sketches that I'm doing right now, these are live sketches that I'm doing um, at $50 a, a, a pop. So, it just depends on what you want. Um, off stream, like, if I'm doing it offline and I'm doing, like, a chibi of something. Uh, also, chibi start at 40 bucks, $60. $60 colored eighty dollars with them in background if it's not cheap like regular work it just depends on what, what you want just depends on what I'm doing but like base price is usually around forty bucks to start I just need to know how much time it's going to take me. So the way that I break it down is I value my time at about $20 an hour, right? So normally like a sketch will take me a couple hours. And even if it takes me more, I still charge like 40 bucks for it. So it just depends. Like a sketch like this can run me like, you know, two hours. It could run me one hour. It just depends. 
on what it is I'm doing. But most of the time, most sketches will be at the minimum two hours or more. It just depends on what I'm doing. And if the sketch is like really, really rough, like if somebody wants like a super rough, easy sketch, then, you know, if I can do it in an hour, then I'll charge $20. It's really, I just charge based on my time, the time that it takes me to do something. So if something takes me four hours to do, it's going to be $80. If something takes me five hours to do, it's going to be $100. Just depends. I make it easy um, and doing it by time and not so much by what I'm doing. Because sometimes there are people who want to make a lot of changes. And I'm totally open to that as long as they're willing to pay for the extra time to do it. And I find that a lot of times people like that. People like that instead of like a base price. It's easier to charge them by the hour because then they're like, all right, well, can we change this? Can we change that? And then they already know it's going to be an extra 20 bucks or whatever to make their changes. Unless their changes are fucking crazy, which I've had. So yeah, the last few years I've been basing it by time. I feel like nowadays though with so much AI that you kind of have to like be careful who you commission. Because a lot of commission pages have been popping up and like a lot of it looks like AI. <laughs> Because I would have the pick guard black with some red splatter. Clearing, clearing Leon, Leon Kennedy on reverse side. Black and white. That's kind of cool. Like on what? Like on a vinyl or something? How are you, Jesse? I'm sorry. All good. Yes. Good. I'm hungry, though. I'll make something to eat. I'm hungry. I just gotta do one more. One more drawing. Hungry A, says Shell. Oops. Mark Garfield. Zelda. Zelda. <coughs> I just gotta draw an Odie and then I'm almost done. An Odie is Zelda. Is he just normal OD this yeah. way? <laughs> I'm relieved. Looks dope already, says Matt Stalker. What's up, Matt Stalker? Matt Stalker, welcome. Famicom Collecting says, man, you have great style of drawing, says Famicom Collecting. Thank you, Famicom Collecting. I appreciate that. 
And thank you for sending commissions my way. Famicom Collecting sent a friend my way. And he commissioned me for a bunch of stuff. I'm relieved that Jesse did not turn into a kebab. <laughs> a delicious kebab. Jesse would make the best kebab. Hmm, how do we make make Odie so that after each four layers it says I can't see it. I'm just sorry about that. Let me get that one. I take fifteen hundred grit sandpaper and smooth it out. Nice. Nice. Should I make? I should make something to eat, right? Mmm. We can wait. We don't okay. have to. Maybe I can get like a snack. You want a snack? A snack. Hey, mother. What's up, Elagos? <laughs> What's up, Bellicose? Welcome. Later. Thank you for shouting him out. I appreciate that, Rover. What the heck is the PC Engine photo reader? I just found out, found one box and never knew it was a thing. Uh, it's part of the whole like, there's like a set of three things, right? There's like the little, there's like the drawing tool and then there's that photo thing and then there's like a printer, a PC Engine printer. There's like three different peripherals. Fairly useless. <laughs> Strictly collector's pieces. Mass Sucker said, Today I have to do one of the household chores. Bringing back empty drinking bottles, no problem, right? Well, there's around 400 bottles of them water, soda, cola, juice boxes, and alcohol. Looking forward to that, not. Oh no. <laughs> if it was cheaper, I'd consider it, but I uh, thought, thought it was just. thought it was really weird. Yeah, it's one of those things where you're kind of like. Is this worth <laughs> the amount of money? <coughs> Be 
DC Engine Artist Tool is better than both. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Just choking on my saliva. in the car the car is full then <laughs> says mass soccer your car is going to be jingling too it's going to be like -doo 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 -doo. the actual artist tool cue card is freaking expensive says my punk Olsen Mass Soccer at ComCon Collecting. There's also a print booster. Print booster, yeah, that thing. Energy Logans. <laughs> oh, yay. Thank you. desire to get them but if it was cheaper I'd buy it for the heck of it says Final Fantasy. Can you use Turbo Everdrive? Can you use the Turbo Everdrive says Final Fantasy? I uh, will go stick on my point. Speaking of which, I'm still selling the Turbo Everdrive Pro. I never did put it on eBay. If anyone is looking to buy one, I am selling one. Yeah, I did. It's fine. You don't have to get it. If you're in the U.S., because obviously it's not going to be worth it if you're not. Hmm. Oh, it says, Alagos, use it for what? The artist tool fuel card? I have no idea. Now I want to try it. Soccer says another news finally my PC Engine package with 35 PC Engine games from Japan arrived in Germany. I should get the package in, in a week. In the next week then. Nice. Very cool. Lots of goodies. All the goodies from Japan. That sounds exciting, Mass Soccer. 
Yeah, I miss getting like goods from Japan. I can't afford it right now, but someday soon. Someday soon. But I think mostly because since we went to Japan, I haven't been buying stuff from online retailers. So I just tell myself, maybe I'll just wait till I go. <laughs> maybe I'll wait till I return. Here's a beautiful damsel. Everyone goes and says the exchange is still really good for us. I haven't been able to go to Japan, so I have to settle getting stuff online. I haven't come plus Yeah, the exchange is still really good. That's the thing, too. Like, the exchange rate right now is fantastic. It was thanks to that exchange rate also that we were able to go again. Twice in one year. So that, that's what I'm hoping that maybe this year we can go back. Hopefully. I think we can if we plan our planet good. Hello, Jinchan. Jinchan, what's up? Welcome. Says, Hello, Sorrows in chat. Matt Sarko says a lot of... Uh, a lot of still cheap but great titles from Forgotten Worlds. Super Raiden, Radius 2, Puzzle Boy, and uh, Momo, Momo, Momotari Densetsu, Volume 32, The Platformer. Says Matt Soccer. Yeah, there's still lots of deals to be had. Lots of deals. <clears throat> yeah, Momotaro, uh, Momotaro Katsugeki is a lot of fun. Is this still portrait portrait of ruin mm -hmm. music? It is a long for a DS game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Portrait of your man. That's a lot of music in it for Roa. See. I got a CBI, uh, CBI Model 1 Mega Drive for 7,000 yen. Damn near stole it. I check for every, every deals every every day, so some, sometimes I get lucky and see stuff when it's posted. Damn. So, boxed? Yep. Something in box model. Dude, that, that is a good deal. That is a good-ass deal. Did you already get it? Deal. Shell says, nice deal with everything in it also. 
you know, uh, for about 80 bucks, I got the uh, uh, Art Set Plus, the mini marquee for Mark of the Wolves for the New Zealand MBS retaining. So it's Ooh. That's awesome. Ooh. says no not yet it's sitting at the warehouse for now well I lied it's almost complete minus the AC adapter which I have one already still a great deal yeah Matt Sarger says and stuff like R-Type 1 and 2 Galaga 88 Agidama Mr. <coughs> Mr. Healy or Heli Heli Mr. Heli it's like a helicopter uh, Street Fighter 2, Twin B, Shubibiman 3, and Bomberman 93 and 84. All great games. Still good prices, show. Excellent games. Mm -hmm. Someone says it's the Genesis model, uh, one model that won't let me play SMS games with EverDrive Pro, so I decided to get an MD1. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Charles, it's nice to get good deals. Those are usually harder to come by, it seems. So, shock. None of the games did cost me more than 20 euros. Nice, nice sucker. That's awesome. All of the deals. Let's just save it. A lot of deals can still be found. It's just a matter of like looking for them and being patient. I still find deals, but I literally check at least twice a day. That's when I'm working. And that's how you get deals to show. Famicom Collecting, find me the RX book. I still need the dual RX book. I just need the book. I don't need it complete. I need book. Boats, boats, boats. Two of these? You can still find deals in general. Yahoo seems to dry up more and more. Oh, that's true. I need a book. Oh. I need the CDs for RX book. There's only one listed right now, and it's super expensive. Man, I should have looked around in Japan. I wasn't. It wasn't even on my on my radar. I feel like our last Japan trip was, was so much fun, so much... It was so hectic. Hectic. Uh, yeah, our last Japan trip was awesome. We did a lot. Yeah, we did a lot. Alright, next time we go to Japan, it's not going to be as hectic. Because we, we already know we want to we stay, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because we did a lot of jumping around. Yeah. So I think we're basically going to stay like in the Kansai region. And uh, go to um, Nagoya. Yeah, I would like to go back to Nagoya. Nagoya. I got the RX book for three thousand dollars yen, but no CDs. If I can find complete one, I'll send you mine. Just from home. Dude, that is a good, good ass deal though. Famicom, three thousand yen for the book is, is good. But yes, now find a complete one. Find a complete one. 
I will gladly take your incomplete one off your hands. Jinjun says, from what my body's telling me, you can still find good deals there in Nagoya. Yeah, there were some stores that had good deals, even like general stores. We yeah. found some deals in like Hard Off and stuff. There were some good deals. We didn't go to Electric Market, which which was on my list of places to go. Nagoya has two electric markets, and we didn't go to a single one because we were just so busy. And we were hanging out with friends too, because like we hung out with friends and uh, we did a lot of fun stuff. We did, yeah. It was a fun trip. I feel like this that last Japan trip was one of my favorite ones. Me too. Another favorite was uh, when we went with Beck was actually one of my other favorite trips too because it was the first time we went to Osaka we went to that karaoke party thing remember oh yeah at the bar it was like an open karaoke thing we got super drunk <laughs> <laughs> funny stuff happened funny stuff happened was that the you wanted the sex yeah it was it was yeah, the first Osaka the first, well, first Osaka trip and then your friend pulled down his pants and then my friend pulled down his pants in the karaoke thing. It was a crazy trip. That was like the, the most memorable trip. And then this last trip. So first first time we went to Osaka, super memorable. And it reinvigorated my love for Japan. Because the first time I went to Japan, I was kind of like... I was kind of disappointed. Oh no, not the first time. Second time I went to Japan. Second time, that would have been your first trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, second time I went to Japan, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to come back to Japan. I just, I wasn't having a good time, but I think it was because of, we were, we went with someone, but I don't know. It was just, we had a lot of weird experiences that trip. We went with someone who told us to do the, the wrong things. Yeah. Don't do this, don't do that, but. This is easier, which it wasn't easier, so we had to research ourselves. For that second time, we we're like, okay, we research and we know now what, what to do. Bover says, it wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Soccer says, so you didn't have enough time for game shopping. We did, we did. We did, but... We didn't make it, so the time we went to Japan, last year we went to Japan in April. We were there for 10 days. The whole 10 days was nothing but game shopping, right? Like, that's all we did. We didn't do, like, any, like, like uh, touristy stuff. It was just every day, game shopping, game shopping, game shopping, every single day. And i don't ever want to do that again so this last trip we kind of split it up right like we did like like touristy stuff we went from like different city like we went to a bunch of different cities this time we around did, right yeah because we were in nagoya we were in yokohama we went to kamata we went to kyoto we went to kobe uh we were in several places in tokyo yokohama. you know we were yeah and we were Yokohama, but in Tokyo we were like we went around like the Haneda area too. Oh, we remember? Did, yeah. Uh, in Nar Narita, we were we went around Narita. We went to, um, we went to Chiba. Remember? We, Chiba. we went to yeah. Chiba to go to that hard off. Um, it was fun. So it was fun to just do a bunch of different stuff. But uh, yeah, so like the the trip in April, like. It was cool that we did like retro game shopping, but that's all we did, and I don't know that I ever want to do that again. That was the first time we went to Japan where that's all we did. Because every time we go to Japan, we do a little bit of everything, right? We'll do like game shopping and eating and some eating. sightseeing. And but in April, it was like not even eating too, because we we ate mostly at Kombini to save time and money so that we can retro game shop. And I feel like I didn't have that much fun. I didn't have fun doing that. No, we were just kind of like... It was like retro game shop, food at the Kombini, eat while we're going to the retro game shops, grab food at the Kombini because we're coming back at like 10 o'clock at night from retro game shopping. And uh, yeah, it wasn't as fun. It wasn't as fun. I liked uh, being able to do... A, a, it needs to be a balance of stuff. 
No, no, this is the hardest thing for me is actually getting time uh, getting time off work. It's really hard for me to be able to take off to take off more than one day off. I have to travel alone because my friends are lame and laggy. Oh, that sucks, right now, Gordon. Yeah, because uh, if you go to Japan, you can't. You have to. I would say you need to go for at least two weeks. At least two weeks. Or at the bare minimum, I would say like nine or ten days. Massacre said, I would do that also. I would go bonkers if I was there. Uh, Shell says, God, I want to come with you guys to Japan. It would be cool as fuck. We, we met up with JT. Well, yeah, we met up with JT. JT went to Japan. We met up with him. We're, we're, at the, we're at the same time, and he came to Osaka, and we all then we went to Kobe. Yep, we spent all day with JT. Well, yeah, we were with JT from, the, from like, 10 a.m. to, like, the 1 last. in the morning or 2 in... Midnight. No, it was, like, midnight. Like, 11, 11, 11.30. 11 11.30, yeah. I think, uh... He took the last train. He took the mean? last train, yeah. yeah. So we left... We said our goodbyes around 11.30 because yeah. we had to go get the last train, I remember. <clears throat> yeah, so we were with JT, who's a member of the starter crew. We were with him from like 10.30 in the morning to like 11.30 at night. And we took him. We went retro game, game shopping. We went to Kobe. That was fun. That was actually fun. Meeting up with JT. It was cool. We, we saw uh, Tetsujin. Yeah, we went to go see Tetsujin 28. Oh, yeah, I forgot we did. That was a cool thing. That was a cool thing. Yeah, we went to see Tetsujin 28. It was awesome. I don't think I'd go to Japan. I don't speak the language as Rover. I would go. I would, would be way too busy trying to pick up girls to do anything else <laughs> as Rover. The sad part is I haven't had a vacation over, over a day long since 2016. That's when I had to step step in at the farm to Final Fantasy XIII. Yeah, see, that would be hard because you're <clears throat> you work on a farm. I totally understand. Uh, Not uh, being able to take that yeah. time off, yeah. It's gotta my, be I had to take care of my grandma for like eight years, and I remember I couldn't, you know, couldn't go to movies. I would have to stay home and take care of her and make sure she doesn't fall. Final Fantasy XIII says that. Uh, says, did you guys go to arcade PCB shops as well? Says Matt Sucker. <sighs> Who? When was the last? Did we go to Beep? We didn't go to Beep this no, time. No, because huh? it was closed, I think. We did tried we? to. We tried to go to Beep, but they were closed. Matt Sucker says, Sinjin is a really nice guy. I hope you had a good time with uh, Cyril, says Matt Sucker. Oh, he's talking about Tatsujin. <laughs> oh. Tatsujin. <laughs> no, he's that. <laughs> uh, this guy. Tatsujin needs you, Hachigo. I'm going collecting. Have you. Were you home for several years, Jesse? Yeah. This was back uh, in the 2000s, uh, mid-2000s. When I met Jesse, he hadn't done much. Like, nothing. He'd never traveled before. Before I met Saru, he'd I... He'd never been on a plane before. Never been on a plane. He didn't eat, like, anything. I would just eat hot dogs and hamburgers. Pizza and, and Chinese pizza food. Pizza and Chinese food. <laughs> I, the furthest I traveled was California. Just within California. Within California, up north, up to Napa, down to the, down to like Baja California. That's about it. And Ensenada and stuff too, right? Huh? By car, Ensenada. Yeah. By Ensenada. Ensenada was the furthest south. In Tijuana. Yeah, Tijuana. By car. And Rosarito, yeah, by car. <clears throat> yeah, he had never been on an airplane before, so like. The first time I took him on an airplane, it was, it was, uh, <laughs> it was an, it was a, an experience. I took two shots, sir. Yep. And you still weren't ready. You were still first freaking out. First airplane was 2015. 
He still freaks out, but not like. Uh, but he'll still get on without a problem. I do. He'll get on the plane without I issue. My candy crush. <laughs> yeah. When the plane starts shaking, I take out my phone and I start playing a game. <laughs> yeah, he just needs to distract it. himself. And he's fine. Oh, I thought. Uh, Taking care of Grandma Hall, yes. Uh, Gizmo says, Oh, Jesse, I went to the Capitol Drive in the other day and wanted to order from the pizza spot as well, but no one else wanted it. Like, oh, you should have gone. You should get uh, the Stromboli, is really good. Their Stromboli is amazing, and they give you this big ass sauce. Oh. The pizza's good, but the, the Stromboli is amazing. Is this so Stromboli. Tony's. It was my best friend's, uh, <coughs> his, his father, it was his father's, uh, shop. I wonder if he took it. He said he was going to take over it. I wonder if he's still there. Actually, if, if you go see the pictures, I might be on there, too. I took a picture with him and a lot of my friends. Oh, what the hell? There we go. Done. Great. Done. I think I might take that cat Adol and turn him into into a charm. Yeah. And then you guys can just charm. We can do a charm pull on it. We can do a charm pull because I kind of I I really like that idea. I like it. It's cute. Bye, yeah.